Okay, so the first thing is we need to have some input data. So what's our input data stream? Um, and so as an example here, and I will use it quite a lot here, um, we use as an example a Pac-Man. The Pac-Man image is um, essentially an 8 by 8 bitmap just with ones and zeros yeah so essentially something like like that where just the pac-man is is inside here in in rows and columns so i've um prepared this um pac-man already so get this here started with octave so that's octave the new octave 4.0 um, with a gui and um, so Let's create an M file, am.m. You want to create it? Yes, we want to create this M file. Octave creates already some empty content here. We're just getting rid of this. And, um, and so now I have already prepared an image, the Pac-Man. So this is our bitmap of the of the Pac-Man and um, so let's just let's just save that and so we call this file am so therefore if I run am then um, we are getting here the image so there's a nice um, command under matlab which is called image show so if we do image show image then we should see a Pac-Man. There we go. So that's that's inside of this array here. Um, I can also just just write image, and then we see this here that this is just a bitmap, and yeah, you can somehow um, roughly see the Pac-Man here, basically in forms of um, of these bits. So. So now the next step is um, we need to create a bit stream out of this. So let's get rid of the of this image here and um, start a new slide. So we need to what we need to do is with this one. So just now we need to create create our bitstream so this means so we take our pacman which has rows and we just um, turn turn this matrix here into one continuous stream where all these rows of this image are just connected to each other that at the end we have something like this here so that's that's very easy to do in octave or matlab but um, it contains a couple of um, syntax tricks so let's bring this here back on the screen and um, so the way the way we are doing this is um, so that we are creating a an empty an empty vector like that and um, and then and then we're filling this all into a and then we're filling this bitstream one by one one row after the other into it here so if we do something like this so eight is the number of our rows and um, and then we write just bit stream equals and now comes the trick bitstream and then we take the image here and taking all um, every row and merging them 
together. So if I now check bitstream, then we see that this is just basically one long bitstream here, which we can then transmit via our AM modulation. So now what I do is I, um, so now I know that this works. I also copy and paste this into into our program here. And so in format this nicely. Um, so here we've got the bitstream, that's a for loop. And as we all know, as a proper programmers, we should indent this here, that we know that this is part of the for loop. And so with that, um, we've created this program here. And if I type in am, then this runs here, and this is just now just creating our our bitstream here. What is quite useful is what I also just add here is the is the number of bits in total, and that's eight multiplied by eight. That we just have this for for later use, in case we want to have loops running through the whole bitstream here, or we could. Um, Avoiding the 8 by 8, we could also write length of bit stream, and then we are independent in case we are changing that. Um, okay, so this is our Pac-Man now serialized in term um, in form of this of this bit stream here. So now we just need to um, create our amplitude modulation. <coughs> 